The world is shifting to green energy resources, and the majority of this now comes from rooftop solar. However, wind energy might be more dominant in other regions. Nevertheless, not every location is suitable for a bladed wind turbine. In this case, Aramine Technologies has created a highly unique, extremely clean rooftop wind energy collection system that appears to have the potential to revolutionize the situation. According to Aramine, its innovative motionless rooftop wind generators operate very quietly and consume 10% less area on the roof than a solar array while producing up to 50% more electricity. They appear to be reliable according to scientific studies. To know if this system is too good to be reliable, keep watching till the end. Aramine is an effective wind energy system for sizable buildings. According to Aramine, the patented technology is immobile and almost completely silent, in contrast to traditional wind turbines, which are loud, visually invasive, and harmful to migrating birds. Every day in whatever weather, the Aramine unit produces energy. These static wings are angled towards the wind to create a low-pressure vacuum in the middle of the system. Air is drawn into the device by holes in the wings or in the round pole, which also helps to speed up the external airflow over the wings. Similar to conventional wind turbines, size is important. The wind energy boxes from Aramine are therefore rather large while having a relatively tiny land area on your roof. The wings themselves, at a rough estimate, are around 10 feet 3 meters high, and based on the most recent footage, they are now perched on top of boxes that may add another 6 feet 1.8 meters. It offers commercial property owners, who are confronting growing energy bills and greater demand for amenities like electric car charging stations, a powerful new option in their pursuit of energy independence. It doesn't initially seem to have any rotating turbines at all. In terms of safety, one advantage of Aramine is that there are no exterior moving parts. What about the turbine then? The fan may, depending on the installation, be located at the base of that central pole, enclosed by a duct, or in smaller designs that sit directly on the roof. It may be located inside the building's roof, inside a pipe that connects to the hollow chambers in the perforated wings. In this case, the air is pulled via a tube to fill the low-pressure zone that the wings produce. It is extremely safe, inexpensive to manufacture, and eerily quiet. The fan itself isn't particularly unique, and the entire system can be disassembled for easy transportation and relatively quick assembly on location. One advantage is that the Aramine is built on a compact structure and is not supported by the tower. This saves space and lowers the price as well. Moreover, it lessens the demand for steel during building, which results in a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Also, 7% of the world's carbon emissions come from the manufacture of steel. The power output of one Aramine unit is comparable to that of 16 solar panels. The potential is quite obvious. Solar and wind energy may accompany one another wonderfully. While wind may generate 24 hours a day, solar energy only does so during the hottest parts of the day. An Aramine system's tiny rooftop footprint makes it possible to cover the remaining roof with solar panels, set up some on-site battery storage, and operate a respectable-sized business mostly off the grid. Solar panels are simpler to install, but because they can only power a limited number of homes, the prices may be greater. As per calculations, installing solar energy costs about $2.19 per watt, however, establishing wind energy only costs $1.50 per watt. The Barnard test results for Aramine are favorable. With the support of the University of Houston, it has also sent its equipment for testing to the prestigious Sandia National Laboratories. In fact, Sandia was actively involved in the creation. It states that it can only capture between one-third and a half of the BETS limit of wind energy. According to a technical performance analysis done in collaboration with Sandia, using wind tunnels at Texas Tech University, Aramines overcome the obstacles that have afflicted other distributed wind solutions and have prevented distributed wind from becoming an important factor in energy markets by clearing a large area of wind with a reliable design. What are the major drawbacks then? As they are made to be such cost-effective devices, these items need to be positioned in locations where the wind's direction is rather consistent because they don't orient themselves to catch a breeze. Also, they will throw shadows, which will prevent the sun from reaching rooftop PV panels unless the structure is angled so that the sun rises from one side and the wind arrives from the opposite. Depending on where they are, their height could provide a problem for local planning or aesthetics, so there will only be a select few locations in a hybrid system where they will function at their best. 
Are all current renewable energy sources going to be replaced by this technology? Of course not. Just as you cannot build a pumped hydro energy storage system in your basement, yet it is another instrument for generating power without releasing hazardous pollutants into the atmosphere, one that operates day and night in those situations where it is acceptable. Surely, it is beneficial. That is all for today, and thanks for watching it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, take care and stay tuned.